Well, we see a big, wonderful future on the horizon for you, and uh, you're in the right place at the right time with the right people. So mm -hmm. I have one more question. Yeah, well, go for it. <laughs> okay, so if you had a preference with buyers or sellers, who do you like better to have a conversation with, a buyer or a seller? I'd say right now a buyer because um, a lot of them I know, even though I don't know a lot, I still know more than – they do when it comes to like buying a home yeah. so I can help them and if they have a question something that John taught me was like I don't have to know I can always just look it up and then or ask John and answer that for them later whereas with like sellers um, they're just kind of since they're selling their home I feel like they have a little bit of entitlement and they're a little bit more like not not welcome to a new agent um, but I still have had to talk to you know Buyers, both and buyers and sellers have been yeah. kind of mean, you know, but to like me being new. But I think because buyers are also new yeah. to real estate, yeah. that kind of helps me be able to teach them and guide them. And yeah. So you see your value in working with buyers right now. At the moment, for yes. Sure. And yeah. And Spanish-speaking buyers. Well, and it's an obstacle to overcome for sure when you are young. And having people taking you serious. And so that's yeah. another courageous thing to do. Okay, no, I'm going to lean into this and I'm just going to go for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, But I always encourage you to do both because then it stretches the limits and it mm -hmm. takes you to another place you wouldn't have gone. So don't ever be afraid to try something, make a mistake, and readjust. Okay? So, yeah, that's with buyers and sellers. But, okay, I have one more. I have one more question. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just when you pause on, yeah, no, I have other questions. Okay.